does not come by prayer. Faith does not come by asking God. You need to do God things God way. The way God says to do it, that's how you can you have to do it to receive results. In Romans chapter 10, verse 17, Bible says, therefore, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's the only way to receive faith. If you need more faith to do something big in your life, to face circumstances of life, to overcome it, like if you need more faith, faith comes by hearing. So you can receive faith. Uh, faith, more faith by fasting, you can receive more faith by praying, you can receive more faith by asking God to give you more faith because He's not going to give you. If God says faith comes by hearing and you are asking God to give you faith, He's not going to do it because He really said that. He said faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, not hearing of news, not hearing of counsel of your friends, except they are speaking the word of God to you. Faith only comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if you want more faith in your life, if you want to receive more faith, you need to listen to more of the word of God. You need to hear more of the word. You need to read more of the word of God. By reading and by hearing more of the word, you are receiving more faith into your life. So when you receive that, the devil also will come. But when you don't have roots, then you stumble, you shake. Because of that word, tribulation will come, you shake. That, that faith does not work. Now, James said, if anybody that shakes like this, you will not receive anything from God. So that's where I'm getting to. That's so important because you can have a lot of faith and yet receive nothing from God. Let me let me just give you, you know, a practical example. Let's say probably you are, you know, looking for a job or maybe you want to get married or uh, maybe you want to have a baby. So you pray and pray and pray and then... The law, you know, you receive a word from the law. It may be a prophecy. Somebody gave you or yourself, you receive a word of confirmation from God. A year, you are not even pregnant yet. No sign at all. Then you come back and then you say, Oh God, why? You know, or maybe you say, Oh God, please give me that baby. You see, that's unbelief. Sometimes we pray and we think we are expressing faith. That's not faith. That's unbelief. When you pray like that, you say, Oh God, please just give me the baby. That's, that's not faith, that's unbelief. Why? Because at the first place, you confess that you have received it. Now you are praying, God give me the baby. It means you didn't receive it the first time. Because if you have received it, you will not be asking for it again. So that's, that's, be, that's what James is talking about, you know. Be driven and tossed by the wind. You know, first time I believe in the name of Jesus, and then, oh God, please give me it again. You are not stable in, on your faith, in your faith. You are wavering. And James said, if you waver, don't think you receive anything from the Lord. You see, you are shaken. You are not strong in the faith. Even though you believe first. So, what can you do if it's, it's like it's taking long? You know, the Bible said Abraham did not waver. You see, he did not waver at the promises of God. But he was strong in faith. He believed that what God said he's able to do it.